Hey man, what's going on everybody man, this is the kid DC Wrestling here and tonight man was a very big night for World Wrestling Entertainment, the WWE as a whole because tonight was the official kickoff for WrestleMania 40, man oh man what a, what a, what a kickoff show, press conference, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, WWE has done press conferences before you know, they've done many so in the past. Obviously, during this time period, they've done a lot. But this one was quite different than the other ones. You you, you can tell that the vibe, the, the, the anticipation was at an all-time high, considering what went down last Friday night on SmackDown. And, uh, yeah, just to kind of recap the entire show, you know, we had CM Punk. We had uh, Big E, uh, Pat McAfee, Michael Cole. They were the ones who were kind of hosting the event, so it was really good to see them. Uh, you know, Big E talks about his neck, you know, and uh, CM Punk, obviously, with his triceps. And uh, both men looked good tonight, so it was really cool to see them out there. And uh, we saw some appearances before, obviously, the big shot of the night. But uh, Bianca Belair made an appearance. She talked about WrestleMania, uh, so it was good to see her. She looked nice, as always. Rhea Ripley came out. Uh, she talked about, you know, not just WrestleMania, um, you know, but the Elimination Chamber as well. And, uh, you know, talking about how she's going to get past Nia Jax at the Elimination Chamber, which is on our home turf. Um, but then you had uh, Becky Lynch come out. Becky Lynch talking about how she's going to win the Elimination Chamber because she already qualified for it. And she's going to face, uh, you know, Rhea at Mania. And uh, those two had a little face-off and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty nice. And then... Seth Rollins came out, and then Seth was calling out Cody, because big headliner, but Roman came out, Roman and Seth Rollins had a little back and forth, you know, Roman saying, oh, you're wearing your wife's shoes, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Seth Rollins saying, oh, you finally showed up to work for once, so, you know, just a little funny exchange there, but obviously the big topic in hand here is, is this picture, The Rock coming out, and The Rock talking about, you know, the, you know, the match, him and Roman, and Roman even said that I'm going to choose my opponent, and it's going to be The Rock, and to talk about the crowd, uh, they were in Las Vegas tonight, obviously, you know, big crowd, Super Bowl weekend, all that stuff, but, um, you know, The Rock was talking about how you don't have to like it, or you 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 can actually like it, but you have to respect it, and, uh, you know, he showed the picture of the family tree, uh, the entire bloodline, which was Man, it's insane how that family has so many, so many wrestling names in that in that list, man. It's honestly crazy. It's definitely what I shout out one of the biggest, if not the the biggest family in professional wrestling. No doubt about that. But the crowd was, it, it, I would say it was split. Um, you know, rock. There there were some rock chants, plenty, but then you also heard the we want Cody chance, the Cody chance, and. You know, Roman was getting a reaction either way because it's his tribal chief. But Cody came out and Cody was like, no, this is bullshit. Like, that, that's exactly what he said. And he was like, y your fathers, like your ancestors would be ashamed of you, Roman. And Cody said that I won the Royal Rumble. I get to choose to decide. I'm going after you, Roman. I'm going after you. And then The Rock got pissed off because, like I said, Cody was talking about how your ancestors would be disrespectful to you. And as you see in the picture here, The Rock was talking about, oh, so you disrespect, if you disrespect his great-grandfather, you disrespect my great-grandfather, you disrespect his ancestors, you know, my family. And The Rock slapped Cody and commotion, craziness, even Ron's got involved, like, what, what, what's the matter with you? Like, it was so much craziness. But, um, yeah, man, with the way coming out of this press conference, it seems, and I'm not, I'm, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but... They might go The Rock, Roman, um, and Cody at WrestleMania 40 in a triple threat match. Um, so they could very well go that route, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, there were reports even saying that you can do The Rock, Roman at night one, and then the winner faces uh, Cody at night two. So they can go about that as well. But either way, um, man, you know, this is... It's a crazy press conference, and uh, I don't want to make this video video too, too long. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this, man. The confrontation was really nice. Uh, the Rock was on the Pat McAfee show. Hashtag Cody Crybaby, he even said it tonight. So. And then it also gives you, like, 
what do they do with Rons? Because, again, Rons was kind of on the outside looking in. So it was like, oh, shoot, well, what do we do with him, you know, for Mania? And uh, it's going to be curious. If they don't do an elimination chamber for the men's, which I don't know because the chamber's like two weeks away, they could just do a triple threat with him, Drew, and Sammy. But I'm not the WWE. I don't write the show, so we'll have to see. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, man. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this press conference as a whole, this interaction specifically. Um, this was really good, man. I really enjoyed this throughout.